On a frigid Friday night, it is Sudbury Wolves hockey here on East Link Community TV. The Sudbury Wolves against the Mississauga Steelheads. The Trout are in town, and hopefully the Wolves will have a little feast for them. How you guys doing? You guys ready to go or what? Yeah, right on. Well, I won't take too much of your time, but uh, I love to hear boys. I sat in that back corner when I was 16. Right beside the laundry room right there. I moved my way up into the middle near the end, but uh, no, I mean, for me, guys, I think just enjoy what you guys are doing right now. Um, I had some of my, honestly, some of my most fun years playing hockey was right here. This is, this hockey, man. It, it's just, it's, so, it's a lot of fun. So my advice would just be, just play for each other. Enjoy your teammates. Enjoy what you're doing. It's a ton of fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, go get them I'm excited. Rip that, rip that wolf out a few times for me, all right? I want to see that thing come out. All right. Much all right. It. Good luck, boys. A very special night, though, tonight. That's uh, what we've been looking forward to all week long as Mark Stahl's number 14 is going to be retired. Mark Stahl, who was here from 2003 to 2007, part of that 2007 hockey club coached by Mike Foligno that made it all the way to the OHL finals. Uh, Mark Stahl was the captain of the club at that time and a first round draft pick of the uh, New York Rangers as well. And joining alongside Mark is his family, his wife Lindsay, and their children, Anna, Emily, and Jack, as well as Mark's parents, Henry and Linda. At this time, if I get everybody to turn their attention to the score clock for a look back at Mark Stahl's career in both Sudbury and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Stahl. Thank you, guys. Um, first of all, you're all nuts. Minus 30, you know, that hockey game. I love it. it. Makes me love you guys even more. Um, you come into Sudbury as a 16 year old kid with a dream of playing in NHL. I didn't think I'd be back here on the ice 20 years later um, receiving this incredible honor. Uh, I want to thank uh, the owner Dario Zulich and the general manager Rob Papineau and the entire Sudbury Wolves organization for hosting me and my family tonight and for giving me this really incredible honor that not many hockey players get to receive. Uh, the future is bright for this team and this city and uh, I'm grateful and I'm humbled to be a part of it forever. I'd like to thank my family, my wife, Lindsay, my wife, um, Anna, Emily, and Jack for always supporting me, um, continue to support me as I keep on living my dream of, of playing hockey and playing in the NHL. And lastly, I'd like to thank you guys. I'd like to thank the fans here at Sudbury. I think the people of this city supported this organization for 50 years, and I think that's uh, just incredible. I always felt proud to wear that jersey and represent this city, and I still do. Um, the year our team went to the OHL Finals, I'll never forget how electric this building was, how excited everyone was to cheer us on. It was really one of like the most fun years of hockey I've ever played. And it's something that I'll never forget, my teammates will never forget. From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys, thank you for this night. What uh, the thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to raise number 14 to the rafters of the Sudbury Arena as we celebrate Mark's hockey career and accomplishments.